Hi, this is Alexander Kolovos with Teradata Product Engineering. You're watching an edition of the Teradata Tech Bytes. This is part one in the series of Using Python with Teradata Vantage. R and Python play a prominent role in the Teradata Vantage language's ecosystem. The Vantage parallel architecture provides for scalability, performance, and operationalization when you use R and Python in the advanced SQL engine nodes. Specifically, Vantage provides an architectural scaling pathway for the principally single-threaded and memory-bound languages. It unleashes performant execution of complex analytics on large datasets. It alleviates the interpretative language overhead and facilitates productionization of R and Python workloads. This TechBytes series focuses on Python Interdata Vantage. We specifically focus on the Teradata package for Python Teradata ML. Over the last few years, this add-on library has evolved to a master key for Python analytics in Vantage. Teradata ML has a variety of attractive features and, most prominently, it enables Vantage connectivity for clients through the Advanced SQL Engine database. It introduced the Teradata ML data frame object, which lends from the Pandas data frame for efficient data handling. It provides interoperability with the popular SQL Alchemy add-on library for relational databases and has a broad collection of Python utility and database management functions to interact with Vantage. Additional features include data manipulation with SQL-like grammar via Python methods and operators, Python wrapper functions for a wealth of newer analytic functions and tools that come with Vantage, model cataloging facilities so that you can save, administer, and reuse the models you build on Vantage, an interface to the script table operator database object so that you can push and run Python scripts natively in the database, as well as a Docker-based sandbox environment so that you can test these scripts in advance. The latest version of Teradata ML can always be found on the PyPy repository, whereas you can find extensive documentation and examples at the Teradata documentation site at docs.teradata.com. To follow comfortably this TechBytes series, Viewers should optimally have a good understanding of the Python language, as well as a general understanding of the Teradata Vantage platform. In these series, the key takeaway is to illustrate operating with Python on the Vantage platform from your client with the Teradata package for Python, Teradata ML. There are four parts in the present Vantage TechBytes series. This is part one, where we make a general introduction we show how to connect to a Vantage Advanced SQL Engine database with Teradata ML, and we exhibit some basic operations with the library. Let us then proceed with the demonstration in this part one of the Using Python with Teradata Vantage TechBytes series. In the present video, we will be using this Jupyter Notebook to demonstrate the following features. We will see how to connect from a client machine to a Vantage Advanced SQL Engine database. We will see how to create database tables from your data and create pandas like Teradata ML data frames from tables. And we will see also how to list tables and drop tables in a Vantage connection. Let's get started by first loading the libraries we will be using. You can see here we are invoking select methods from the Teradata ML library in addition to some other well-known libraries like pandas. Next, we wish to establish a Vantage connection to a target Advanced SQL Engine database. Specifically, we use the create context function Teradata ML to specify a target host and credentials for our connection. Now we see that we're connected and we can proceed to the following segment to discuss interacting Teradata ML with tables in the Advanced SQL Engine database. To create a Vantage table from your data, the easiest way is by using the copy to SQL Teradata ML function. In this first example, I start with a data file called customer CSV. I import it from my client into Python by creating a pandas data frame, as you see here, customer input DF. And the copy to SQL function that I'm using next can take a data frame object like customer input DF and build a table in the database with a user-specified table name, which here is customer. I complete the statements in this block by asking for a few sample rows from the pandas data frame so that we can inspect the data.
Next, to see the contents of a table in the Connect Advantage server, use the TradeDataML DataFrame function. We illustrate this function in the present block. The DataFrame function accepts a table name as an input and creates a TradeDataML DataFrame. In the background on the server side, the DataFrame TradeDataML function creates a table view in the temporary database of the session. The TradeDataML DataFrame is a representation in your client of an actual table in the database. A sample of rows are physically sent from the database to your client without having to transfer all the data. Their data ML data frames share many common features and methods with pandas data frames. For example, you can use the head method to inspect a custom site sample of their data ML data frame rows. The last statement of the block illustrates the to pandas method of the ter data ML data frame. This call converts a ter data ML data frame object to a pandas data frame object. Keep in mind that if you do convert a TerdataML data frame into a pandas one, then all the table data will be transferred from the database to the client for this table. So let us execute this block. And we move on to the following one. Here we see another example of creating a TerdataML data frame. In this instance, we use the data frame function argument in schema to create a TerdataML data frame from tables in a database other than our working one. Here we assume that a table customer 2 exists in database AK186064 for which we have read permission on the connected server. Let us execute this block to sample the context of the new third data ML data frame TD customer 2. In the following block, we use again the copy to SQL teradataml function that persists the teradataml data frame TD customer 2 as table customer 2 in our working database. That is, we essentially copied the table from the AK186064 database to the TRNG Tech Bytes working database. Another utility of the copy to SQL function lies in that many operations produce their data mill data frames that are temporary objects. Temporary objects are wiped out at the end of a session. The copy to SQL function then enables you to persist temporary object as tables. Keep in mind that if you should specify a pandas data frame to copy to SQL, then index column data are excluded from the table that will be created. For the copy to SQL standalone function, there is a corresponding to SQL to data ML data frame method that performs the exact same saving task. Let us execute this block too. And we are ready. Moving on forward, let us see where we are standing with the table operations we have performed in our working database on the connected server so far. To list the tables in the working database, execute the teradataml db list tables function shown here. You can customize the listing with the object name argument of the function. In this example, we request to list tables that start with the string custom. The search is non-case sensitive. Let us execute this block. We see that per our search, the working database TRNG Tech Bytes now contains the tables customer and customer2. Let us only keep the customer table. We would need to drop a table customer2 from our working database. This block now shows the teradataml db drop table function. We can use it to perform this task. In the example, we specify the customer2 table as the input argument in the db drop table teradataml function. Then we request a new to list the tables that start with a string custom in the working database TRNG Tech Bytes. Let's run the statements. We see that the listing output verifies the drop operation that we requested. All these simple operations we examined so far can get you up and running with their data ML Invantage. You can find more details about the functions we examined and their data ML in two ways. You can use the built-in functions help and dir commands to explore their data ML objects. And you can find exhaustive information about their data ML, its functions and examples at the official their data ML documentation site at docs.terdata.com. Let's wrap now. 
our presentation by removing the connection context that we created in the beginning. It is good practice to always remember to disconnect at the end of your sessions from the Vantage server you're connected to. To do so, we use the remove context or data ML function. By executing this statement, we receive validation that the connection context has been removed. We would like to thank you for staying with us for the part one presentation and demo, and we wish you a wonderful rest of your day.